I have salutations! This is something awful. Welcome back to episode 2 of Let's Play Yoshi's Island. The SNES version, obviously. And now, um, I'm gonna explain that you can scroll over and see the rest of the map with L and R, and you can scroll back to store with R, then if you just let it scroll back. Anyway, we're gonna go on to uh, level 2. I was about to say episode 2, but this, yeah, it is episode 2, but level 2, which is Watch Out Below. Yes, I knew it's title before it was slow, but anyway, I'm recording this literally 30 seconds after the first one, like, because I don't feel like playing. Anyway, um, same as before, same rules apply, except there's chomps falling from the sky and creating pits. You can despawn them if you want, but that's unnecessary, because I'm about to not kill myself, surprisingly. I thought I was dead. These things you can press down to the ground pound and kill them, and well, pound them in, they like to hide red coins behind them sometimes, but that's okay, because this level is not that bad, middle ring, checkpoint, these are middle rings, they're checkpoints, that was unnecessary, that did not, you can also, as I mentioned before, you can rebound eggs, but this guy's gonna say, hey, you know how to make eggs, right? I hope so, because I'm gonna talk to him again by accident, because you need to make eggs, and this is a shy guy tube, which is useful when you need eggs. Which I don't really need anymore, but I'm gonna take that one that spawned before bouncing off the spring ball up here! To the sky! Possibly one of my favorite backgrounds in the game, but not the exact variety. There's this one level, I just really, really like the thematics of it. It's an alright level, but I like the thematics of it anyway. Anyway, I don't think I need to go over here. If I start failing getting 100% on this level, that's gonna be pretty sad. That's why I really should. I, I'm gonna get this middle ring and then just kind of. I, I could have sworn that coin was red. I guess it wasn't. That was stupid on my part. Now I get to run around here again. Yay. Very exciting. I cut, but I'm already back. And I'm not going to run out of time anytime soon because I'm not being excessive. But yeah, you want to get the red coins. I have 10 red coins and 2 flowers. Anyway, now, Yoshi, do you remember that time? I don't even know. Yoshi decides to transform because he can. And we want to go... I'm, I'm kind of, like, this level, I just remember, and, um, for, um, Lucky, and Lucky's LP of Yoshi's Island DS, great LP, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, I don't even know why I'm plugging it in, like, I'm sure everyone who subscribe, subscribed to me right now knows of Lucky, but, go check him out if somehow you haven't, because he's, like, the best lp -er, in my opinion, but, hey, enough randomly plugging him, um, yeah, he's, wait, yeah, but, um, he, there was a helicopter segment in the first world that was long and boring, and there was stuff hidden everywhere. I don't think this one's that bad, because I'm only missing red coins and a flower, and I'm 99% sure that flower's in the next zone, so I'm gonna start moving on. This is a short level. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get more than one episode done here. I'm not, I, as you know, it's just my um, episode time last time. I'm not um, using my whole time limit, because, well... I don't want people to get bored, but, um, basically, yeah, this level is very, I'm being OCD right now, I'm, I'll stop. Uh, well then, this is going all kinds of great, I might, um, cut part of this junk out, cause this is just like, yeah. So let's go, quick, over here, can I fly faster by holding the Y button? Oh uh, yeah, you do want to go up here though because there are three red coins. I I think I know how many coins I'm supposed to have at this point. I can get back if I want to. You don't even need to use the helicopter to get over here actually. But um, 17. I feels odd, but I'm gonna go on with 17. I think it's 17 or 18. Hopefully I didn't miss one. That I think those are the last three actually. So let's um. Fail at getting that last flower a few times, then kill you, and we have 100%. But if you don't, here are some stars for you. So, um, there's the end of the level. And so, we've done two levels now, nice! It's not a bad start to the game, I do think I failed a bit on that one more than I needed to, but, um, we haven't died yet. It's coming, don't worry, I, I, I tend to suck at video games sometimes. I'm actually normally not a completionist, yet I, I, I always consider myself a completionist, 
by any means, but I tend to just play games anyway. It's kind of odd. I think it's just me being, um, I don't know. I just didn't used to even finish games. So, like, 100% anyone's a bit of a bizarre concept. But I am going to do this one. Anyway, the Cave of Chomp Rock. I think you want to kill this guy if you have, yes. If you have eggs, you can kill this guy because you can get a life. Other, I don't think the other guy so much as matters, so I'm not even going to bother with him. And, oh no, you get the joke segment, except, um, it can't even hurt you. Anyway, I did actually, was gonna start as the Wii earlier, emulating the game, but, um, not that I like anything, but, it glitched out, like, three different, like, I just tried, like, a bunch of different versions of emulator, and stuff, and it always glitched out on this level. I don't know what it was. Actually, it wasn't even originally due to any of the game. I owned the game, my only card, I just didn't have access to it. So, yeah, there's the first one of those. Um, there's some red coins up here. You'll find out lives. If my memory serves, if you're 100% in this game, if you do good at it, they don't matter at all. So, they shouldn't matter anyway. I'm not playing a ROM hack, so I don't need to. I've been watching a lot of crowd cows lately, which is why I mentioned that, but I don't need to, like, worry. Oh no, there's a Stomp Rock. Um, I need to make sure I find that, basically. <laughs> <laughs> ironic that the thing I said I don't need to make sure I find, I find. Anyway, I want to respawn the jump rock, yes. It's nice to have it. Anyway, we're in the middle ring. I'm not even going to get it yet. I'm going to go down here and get these first. And cause it saves whatever you have, including stars in the middle ring. So that would not be a bad idea to get it right now, because that way I'll have 30 stars in case I somehow fail this level. Which I won't, and there was nothing in there, which is... Oh yeah, I don't even have that yet. Did I... No, oh, yes, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting confused. I want to go over here and get that. I'm doing all right. I've got, yeah, I am going to be checking my stats occasionally. I like pause, I should pause screen, being pause screen. People who don't like pause screens, I don't even know if you exist, but I'm saying that in case some people do. Sorry about that, I'm probably going to add that out anyway, but yes. There's, over here, there is this thing, which isn't what I want. There is this thing. A key, which, a key basically gets added to your eggs. I want that star. It's basically, yeah, it's a, it gets added to your eggs, and it's, um, basically another, it unlocks a door, obviously. It's not like Super Mario World, where it's the key to get the secret exit. This game doesn't have secret exits. Exploring levels is for the score, which is to get the bonus levels. But otherwise, every level is actually mandatory to beat the game. There's no, like, warp zones or anything like that. Anyway, throwing balloons. This is going to be a test, because I'm... Playing with this, and yes, but I'm playing it through the capture card on my TV, through the computer, through the capture card, because I don't even know why I decided to do that. So I'm gonna see if I can do this. I suck at this anyway, but like, this is more timing based. Um, B Y A B Y A that. Okay, I have to remember what buttons are what for this. This is just gonna be all kinds of fail. Not that you get a good prize for this per se, but. It's a game against the bandit, um, B, do, 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 yes, I can do, I'm just, just I just have to concentrate on this, because I suck at this, and it's, like, not even worth the prize you get for it if you do succeed, which, the bandit is being a jerk. Okay, it's boom, boom, okay, boom, 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 nah, I lost, okay, well, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know what buttons are why. I know what buttons do what, but I don't know what buttons are why. Like, like the um, European SNES buttons in that image, though, because, like, I don't know. All the European people might not know, but uh, I think it's in Europe they're like that. But um, in North America, all the buttons on the SNES are purple. Hey, this thing respawned. Well, that's convenient, because I got hit, and I need the stars again. Yay! Okay, and I'm back to 30 stars, which is good, because... 30 stars are important, because you need 30 stars to beat the level. Anyway, you, die. I think I need this chomp rock? Maybe? I don't actually know that well. But, um... Okay, hopefully I don't. No, I don't. Okay. I'm crazy. Don't worry. Don't mind me. I'm just crazy. Okay. What did you expect? I mean, like, isn't... Really? <laughs> so, that... Counted, right? <laughs> I've heard people talk about like how like if things are off screen sometimes they don't count properly, but that counted, I'm fairly sure. Okay, I need to stop wasting all my eggs just to break the um sand, I'm pretty sure. What's supposed to be? 
Well, on this, hit the fuse switch and, uh, secret appears, and you can just go into a hidden pipe, basically, and in here, there's a bunch of coins, and, uh, I'm gonna basically cheat my way up to the one side, but the other side, eh, I'm not gonna use to cheat my way up it. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of coins, they're useless, you can get lives with them, but, like, as I'm pretty sure I already stated, lives in this game, not too important, there's no red coins, nothing you need in there, which is convenient because it's missable, very, like, I don't think they're mean enough to give you anything that's missable yet, soon, but not yet, anyway, um, there's nothing in these other ones down here, this segment's mean in my opinion, basically it's all about pushing it up, jump off the right amount, so you can not do that, but you basically have to jump up here. I, um, this might take me a few moments, or I might get it almost immediately. That's also possible. Anyway, that's the end of the cave. We have 100% right now, so we just have to not die out here, which shouldn't be too hard. There's a, kind of, a shy guy fight there, which lets us um, kill all these guys. Now, it'd be, it'd be great if you ran into that life guy. Anyway, that's the end of the level. And... I did not know that you were throwing an egg when you ended. Apparently you dropped it, and I get a bonus game. So we're gonna end once again on a bonus challenge. Which I'm going to try to not sing. Because I suck, and I know that. But anyway, we've beaten that level. And, um, yeah. We're going on to the bonus challenge. Scratch and match. This one, again, this is like the worst one, and I... If I fail this again, if I fail this again, if I fail this again, I am going to be just like, like, <laughs> serious, <laughs> okay then, apparently we're ending the second episode with me failing Scratch and Match again, I, I, I kind of have chortles at this, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty funny, anyway, um, Next time on Yoshi's Island, or Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, technically, that's the entire title for the game, I mean, I don't think many people call it that, but next time, giant pajamas, and yeah, this is just weird, um, I will see you next time, this is something awful, signing out, I don't have a good sign out yet, but this is an awkward one, see y'all next time.